Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is just gonna, this is just your general reading, okay? Your general energy for the month of May. Um, so let's dive right into this. I have a pre-shuffle here for you, and we're starting you off with the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, with the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So again, this isn't your official love reading. This is just your general energy love is going to be i am going to do a love reading for you guys it's not going to be up on my patreon account link is in the description box below if you would like to check it out yeah patreon.com slash divine conversations just keep in mind that this isn't a general this isn't a love reading specifically this is your general reading but the sense that i'm getting from this for you gemini is either you have a connection that you're trying to pursue you're trying to move forward with or maybe you have an idea of what it is you want out of love or out of some sort of um, emotional fulfillment here. And I just keep, I, I, I feel like you're keeping up your defenses or you're keeping up your boundaries. The strongest thing that I'm getting for this Gemini is you are keeping your boundaries between in place between you and other people that may feel differently about what emotional fulfillment or the ultimate most emotional fulfillment for you would be how you resonate it with it what it you know the, the strongest thing whether you have your whether you're in a relationship or not it doesn't matter i the, the strongest thing that i'm getting from this for you gemini is having come to a deeper understanding maybe even matured a bit when it comes to what you find emotionally fulfilling what you find ideal in a relationship um, and holding firm to that not allowing anyone to try and come in and change your point of view there is a, a little bit of stubbornness that i'm picking up with this for you gemini however i don't feel like it's misplaced i actually feel like it's very well placed because at this point you it, it, this just feels like an energy of you standing your ground standing up for what you believe in standing up for what your heart is calling you towards and it could it could very well be a connection with someone two of cups there's something that i feel is fairly unconventional about this whether it's uh, a stark difference or in stark contrast to relationships you've had with in in the past maybe even with the, the type of person that you had a relationship with in the past has changed from then until now um something something like that there's something unconventional about this whether this is just for you specifically in the, the the overarching theme of your life or maybe this has some sort of societal thing maybe there's some something unconventional in terms of uh family dynamics or religious dynamics uh religious affiliation something like that but i don't feel like this is negative i feel like you have a greater understanding or a deeper understanding or at least a certain vision as in terms of what your ultimate happiness emotionally or wish fulfillment emotionally would be. Maybe even an idealistic view of relationships of love. There's something very new about this energy for you, Gemini. Whether you're someone that's new to my channel and I'm newly picking up on your energy, or you're fairly new to like some sort of awakening spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, I just feel, I just get this energy of being fairly green, very bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, and green being is a term that's used if you're unfamiliar with the term of, of being green. It's you're brand new to something. OK, you, you're untouched, unweathered by circumstances and whatnot. OK, so there's, there's a very idealistic view that I'm picking up on here for you guys. I don't think it's going to be a bad thing. I feel like moving on in the future, should this turn out to be less than ideal ultimately there's going to be a lesson in there for you so i don't want you to be apprehensive i don't want you to feel like oh i'm i'm there's a there's like an uh uh, uh maybe a little bit of a juvenile energy or just uh green around the edges energy here i don't want you to i don't want that to make you stop from moving forward or pursuing whatever it is you seem to want to pursue with the Knight of Cups energy, though, I just feel like you're you're getting to the point where it's like you're about to take action or you're you're gaining confidence to start taking action somehow with what your heart could be calling you towards. Interesting energy, Gemini, to start you off with. OK, so let's get going again. This is just going to be a general reading for you guys. All right. So love was most likely going to come up, but I, I'm going to do a specific love reading next. OK. 
cool. So with that said, let's get into the rest of the situation for you, Gemini. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini. Five shuffles. Let's see what we've got for you here. General reading, general energy for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. And I'm using the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot deck this month. Such a beautiful deck. That was three. This is four for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. All right, here we go. Let's cut the deck here, gems. All right, overall energy. We have the Five of Wands. Interesting. Um, conflict. This could be the chaos of change. Um, we're in a very changing time right now. Um, the strongest thing I get from this Gemini is outside opinion, external opinion. But I, I paused for a second when I was about to say that because I was hearing toxic opinion. There's some sort of toxicity that's trying to, I feel like, seep into your plans, your goals, your objectives. Um... And you're kind of having to face that. This could very well be the energy that you are uh, creating boundaries against. Seven of Wands. I feel like this is a big test for you. This is a big moment for you to show your stuff. I'm hearing show the universe what you're made of. If there's something in your heart that you're feeling is resonating with you, then it's almost as if I feel like the, cha the universe is challenging you with standing your ground holding your focus, holding your own. So that's why this, this five of wands energy is at the forefront, is at the focal point, the first card of your overall energy. I don't feel like this is all that destructive. It's not meant to be destructive, but it's, it's, it's almost as if the universe is testing your resolve here. Underneath the Five of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles in terms of greater self-mastery, maintaining your foundation, building your foundation. In some cases, for some of you guys, Gemini, um, this is the universe is actively helping you to fortify or build your foundation by, figuratively speaking here, asking you the, the, the questions that would cause you to seek the answers that are only going to help you in building and fortifying your, your, your foundation here or working on your sense of self-mastery. Um, so that was a figurative thing. Uh, they could be asking you specific questions, but ultimately what I'm, what I'm really picking up on is the universe guiding you through, into and through certain circumstances that's only going to help you grow and only going to help you build and, and get that much closer or move you along your path towards that Ten of Cups energy that came out in the beginning of the reading, okay? Underneath the Three of Pentacles, we have the Chariot. Yeah, Gemini, y'all are moving forward. Okay, excellent. Underneath the Chariot is the Two of Wands. All right, good. Two of Wands is here. Um, and I feel like there is an ongoing energy of needing to make a choice. I just feel like the universe is really working on your behalf right now to help you sift through circumstances, happenings, maybe even bringing things up from your past for greater um, understanding, like taking a hindsight view of some things. I, 
I just feel like whatever is coming up for you, Gemini, throughout this period, everything is just helping you put the pieces together and fortify this foundation because I really do feel like something new has been inspired within you recently, all right? And the universe, it might seem like the universe is putting obstacle after obstacle in your way, but actually those are all the obstacles that are that are coming forward right now are meant to help you. Just weed through all of that. And in, in you know, in, uh, when push comes to shove, you'll actually start to see, oh, I see that was actually meant to help me. That's why I went through that because going through that is helping me with perspective here. That's the kind of energy I'm feeling for you right now, Gemini, and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. You're really on your way. It may not seem like that right now, but you really are Gemini, all right? Because the, chem the, the chariot is also an energy of being in greater balance, in greater al alignment with yourself, okay? Which is only going to help you move forward that much quicker. Cool. All right, Gemini, let's get into this. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies. We have, okay, the tower. Started you off strong, huh? However, I feel like the tower... The tower moment has already happened. For some of you, I just saw that a tower moment happened and something was cleared out of your space, whether it was figuratively, physically, or energetically. Um, and now that has what has created the space, the open space for whatever that Knight of Cups energy was. Ooh, 11-11 it, it was symbolizing for you in the beginning of the reading. It's like something was destroyed or was something was removed from your psyche or removed from your energetic space or removed from your physical space that freed space for something new, some new form of inspiration. It could be maybe a new love interest. That is entirely possible. Um, I just feel like this tower moment helped to clear the space for whatever has now taken up that space and whatever it is you're moving forward with, okay? The tower is coupled with, all right, the nine of pentacles. Uh, okay, two things that I'm getting with this. One, you could have very well broken up with someone if you were already in a loving, uh, a romantic situation. I, I don't necessarily want to say a loving situation. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. That's not up for discussion right now. Ultimately, there is a level of independence and autonomy. Now, there are two main things that I'm getting with this. One, either you broke up with someone and that has, and either that relationship, the course of that relationship has helped you greater define what it is you truly want out of a relationship, or that has freed you up for what, it, what you really do want out of a relationship to actually now come in for you, okay? There's also a level with this nine of pentacles energy, there's a level of... I'm in control of my life. I, I you have some sort, some sense of autonomy, um, uh, stability, independence, sovereignty, and whatever is changing for your life right now is really only going to boggle the minds of those that are outside looking in. You are standing firm in your own sense of independence, your own sense of self, or at least knowing what it is you want, and not necessarily allowing other people to stop you, to sway you. That's kind of what I'm getting with this Nine of Pentacles energy. I just feel like you're standing, either you or someone else that you're connected with, whomever this, reson this reading resonates for, this person is standing very strong, very firm in their sense of self as the wreckage crumbles around them. But again, whatever is coming down, it's not a bad thing. Okay, it is not a bad thing at all because ultimately it's clearing space for what is really what is meant to take its space, place in return. If you just noticed a drop in the level of the microphone, I just turned the input down. So I hope it doesn't affect it too negatively, but I just felt like it was too hot. So I turned it down. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, for your month of May. The Fool, well, look at you. All right, uh, I, you know, independence this feels so sh i just feel gemini you are really going off in your own direction you're going on you're going towards you're really moving forward very well very quickly towards whatever it is you truly want i just see you standing on your own here not that you're going to be on your own forever 
but in terms of what it is you're going towards this is you you're not looking you're not looking or requiring looking for or requiring any sort of help assistance guidance or validation from external circumstances i just feel a strong sense of confidence here for you too very nice the fool is coupled with okay the five of cups interestingly enough there comes that um but you know what though gemini i don't i feel like what i'm getting with this gemini is that this five of cups energy the regret the remorse the shame the guilt dissatisfaction sorrow heartbreak loss uh, uh any sort of mourning period i feel like this is this energy is from the past and what you're doing right now is you're taking a leap of faith and moving on towards bigger and better things in which you potentially won't feel this energy anymore maybe or at least not in the same way that you did in the from in terms of whatever circumstance you're leaving behind you whatever you're leaving in the path past um, and I feel, I get a very strong sense that as you take this leap of faith, Gemini, you're looking to move in a direction that's really not even going to try to give you this Five of Cups energy, this disappointment, this loss, this regret. I, Gemini, I feel like there's something coming towards you or something that you are moving towards that you're fairly confident in which will provide you with a deep, deep sense of happiness and fulfillment. And that could very well be a lot, uh, uh, something that you've come to a greater understanding of at this point from the F through whatever it is you've been through in the past that's represented by this Five of Cups energy. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, the Three of Wands, uh, waiting for a return on an investment. Um, but I feel like the challenge for you, Gemini, is continuing the momentum on the path that you've set yourself off on, which... Doesn't, shouldn't be too much of a challenge. So I'm kind of, I'm actually sitting here feeling through this energy and wondering why is this a challenge here? Because I don't really feel like you're having that much trouble with moving forward, moving on. I even feel like you're enthusiastic about it. It could very well just be that this journey is tough. This journey has been tough up until now. The challenge may also be that you don't necessarily see what you want coming towards you, but it, it is interesting. The Three of Wands is coupled with the Magician. Okay. All right. So this is the, technically this is your challenge energy right now between the Three of Wands and the Magician. However, I don't feel like this is really all that challenging for you, which is, which is causing me to question why, why Spirit has put this in your challenge section. So I don't, at least for now, for your first half of the reading, I don't feel like there's much really challenging you or there isn't much that's new that's challenging you. Whatever challenge you are facing right now is something you have gotten under your belt quite sufficiently so it's not even like it's that hard for you to move forward with that's really good gemini i'm not gonna lie that is quite ideal all right for your challenge to be something that you're fairly well versed in handling <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here gemini you have okay the ten of swords Yes, but what I'm hearing for you is that you, it's like you're in an energy of pulling these swords out of you by, at this point. Like, all right, start over, reset button. I'm doing this again, and this time I'm going to do it to make sure that I'm going to be happy. Because you were not happy, and whatever it is you were moving, you're moving away from now, you were not happy. It may have started out happy I'm with the Ten of Swords. It may have started out looking like it was going to make you happy or looking like it was going to provide you with what it is you're truly looking for but ultimately boop, nope sorry not it okay um but but that did teach you a lesson don't get me wrong it, it helped you learn i feel like the biggest message that's coming through here and what you learned in this situation is to not compromise your happiness for the sake or the opinions of other people that's what got you into that ten of swords to begin with right well, that's what got you into the circumstance that ultimately ended up in the Ten of Swords. But you, uh, but I feel like you're very much one by one doing your own surgery, pulling these swords out of yourself 
on your own because you're a badass and you got it like that. You know what I mean? Like you're taking your happiness into your own hands. All right. Ten of Swords is coupled with, oh, the High Priestess. Yes, Gemini. Mm. Because you, my friend, understand the higher perspective now. And while you were in this circumstance represented by the Ten of Swords, whatever this is for you, it might be a marriage, because um, I just heard that, so I'll say that. But you may not have understood in the past, but you sure do understand now. You see the higher perspective here, or at least there is a higher perspective that you are acclimating to, which is allowing you to, in essence, or effectively pull these swords out of your back, end the heartbreak, end the, tr the pain, the betrayal. You're seeing the higher perspective now, which is all you ever really needed, to be honest. And then it, because of like, you know, the, 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 the beauty and the, what is the word I'm looking for? The effectiveness, I guess we could say, in learning through the contrast. It's the contrast that you needed to experience in order to really get what the higher realms were trying to get you to understand. But you got it now and you're allowed. And because of that, you are, I'll say this, you're allowed to or you are able to move forward. Excellent. Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies. We've got, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Well, we do have the Nine of Swords here. There is some sort of anxiety, some sort of fear, apprehension. This could be someone else potentially that you're trying to connect to, that you potentially have this partnership energy with this new love interest, whatever, if that's what was resonating for you. It could very well be both of you. Whatever this is, though, I feel like this Nine of Swords is conditioning from the past that's kind of rearing its, rearing its ugly head. Okay, so maybe that could be why you have the Magician at the Three of Wands in your challenge section in the first half of your reading, because there may still be some past circumstances either that you have dealt with or that someone that you're connecting to, is to has dealt with that could that's causing a bit of fear and anxiety and apprehension. But keep in mind, remember, this Nine of Swords energy, this is an illusion. Okay, this is, this is, this is experiencing reality from a fear-based mentality. We don't want to do that. That's not going to help you. Okay. Nine of Swords is coupled with judgment. Hello, but you are rising above. There is a higher perspective here. There is a higher calling. If you're dealing with any sort of fear right now, Gemini, don't worry about it. Focus on the higher calling here. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. Some of you are still kind of may, may still be struggling to understand the higher perspective here, Ten of Swords. It, for some of you, something is, is needing to come to an end and you don't quite understand why. There is a higher reason. Focus on what your intuition is guiding you towards. The right messages or the clarity, the understanding that you need will come to you in divine timing. Right now, you really just need to trust. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. Ground yourself is what I'm hearing. I, I feel like what this Queen of Pentacles is saying to you if is either there is a very nurturing, motherly, grounded energy, unconditionally loving, yet still can be a little bit of a, a tough lover type, type a little bit. I feel like you really need to fall back on this type of energy right now. Even if you don't have this type of person in your life, it could very well be the person that you're moving towards. Okay. Um, it could very well be that the person that you're moving towards is very unconditionally loving. And you may not necessarily see that about this person because they do have a very stern outlook. Um, or at least they just come across as may maybe fairly guarded extremely or maybe even overly practical or just practical to the point where it's it's out of the ordinary for you because you may not be that practical but either way i feel like you need to focus on this energy 
whether it be someone that is physically around you in your physical social group family, or if this is just the unconditionally loving, protective, grounding, nurturing mother type energy within you or just of the angels, universe, whatnot, whatnot, whatever. I feel like this is the energy that you need to focus on. And I keep hearing grounding. So keep yourself grounded here as much as you possibly can. Okay, Gemini? I know that can be very difficult, but just keep that going. Also, I feel like for some of you, this is the person, this is the nature of the person that you're manifesting into your life. Whether that be a soulmate or a, um, well, a romantic partner or like a business creative partner. And some of you are needing to know that. Some of you don't really quite see that just yet, but underneath the surface, this person is very, very loving, caring, and nurturing, okay? Maybe it might even be the, 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 the element of feminine energy that you need to balance out your life. Maybe they could teach you about that. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Cups. Ooh, well met is what I'm hearing. Well matched is what I'm hearing. Um, you don't know this yet. For someone out there, you don't quite know this yet, but this person is an ideal match for you or this energy, this type of energy is an ideal match for you. I'm get, I'm picking up on a situation or a circumstance in which like this could be someone that either fits very well in your social group already, is part of your social group already, might be someone that's a friend or just an acquaintance, or this could be someone that's gonna come in and really just match the energy so well, it might be hard to believe, like a little bit too good to be true. Okay. Yes. This also could be rely on your friends or your family, like the people that you really can honestly say, you're a friend to me, you're a family, you're like a brother, you're like a sister, you're like a mother, father, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whatever. Rely on those people right now because they will help nurture you in the way that you really need to be nurtured at this time. Okay. Excellent, Gemini. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. Ground yourself, but also make sure that you try that you keep as much mental clarity as you possibly can. Mental fog is probably going to be an issue for you throughout this period or this month. Make sure to yes, ground yourself, Queen of Pentacles, but also calm the mind and quiet the ego. You might have to tell it to sit down and shut up a few times, okay? Four of Swords is coupled with. I, you know, part of the reason why I feel like your mind might be all over the place or where you, you really may need to focus on keeping mental clarity is because there's, I just feel a lot of excitement. That's really just it. I just feel like there's, a, whatever is happening for you, Gemini, I feel like you're really, really excited about it. Or at least you could very well be very excited about it or have the potential to be super, super excited about it, which could throw you off balance, all right? So maintain your ground and your mental clarity because fog is not going to help you here. Ooh, did I get bit? I must have gotten bit because now I have this random mosquito bite on my arm. <laughs> Sorry, Four of Swords is coupled with the sun, Gemini. Ooh, I like that. Interestingly enough, both of your challenge energies, Gemini, are like, why is this a ch why is this a challenge? But okay, it's the excitement, the exuberance coming through as you move forward in the month. That's kind of like, okay, whoa, ground yourself, stay cool, everything's gonna be fine, nothing's wrong. It's just you know, don't don't burn yourself out, okay? Don't bite off too much, too more. Don't bite off more than you can chew just because you're excited to get things going or move forward. Take your time. Divine timing is still, in fact, a thing. But I am seeing with the sun here, it's like you may actually start to see something coming quite clearly, which is only going to uh, ramp up your excitement, okay? Which, again, is not a bad thing. Just make sure you keep your mind as clear and stable and grounded as possible, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the second half of your reading here, you have... See, there you go. The Two of Pentacles. Main your balance. Yes? 
Two of Pentacles is coupled with. Oh, the Queen of Swords now. Funny, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords um, in the second half of the reading here. And I do see them as like besties, okay? So the Queen of Swords here with the Two of Pentacles is asking you to like, look, don't, no bullshit. Don't waste my time. Keep the balance. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. Keep the balance, Gemini. You know you can do this, right? This could very well be your energy, although typically the Queen of Swords represents Libra. It could be you, or it could be another Aquarius. Uh, uh, it could be an Aquarian. But ultimately, what I'm getting with this is uh, 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 balance at all costs. You keep yourself in check. You keep yourself balanced. We are not flying off the handle. We are not dealing with any of that bullshit. Copy, capish, comprende. Okay. <laughs> but this is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. The Queen of Swords is both the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are on your side. They have your back. Keep that in mind. All right, Gemini? All right, cool. So let's close this out for you. Woo, sorry, guys. Let's close this out for you here with some Oracle Guidance closing messages from the unicorns. From the unicorns. One last shuffle. All righty, Gemini. Closing message for you here. Closing message for my Gemini's. What do you need to leave my Gemini's with? Okay. Well, you got one card here. And it is, in fact, prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. All right. We'll take both of them. So a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. However, I don't necessarily feel like this just has to be... Um, Financial. I, I feel like this could be prosperity in any way. Whatever it is you're looking to acquire, to improve upon, I, I feel like that's going to happen, all right? Because then at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, you have expansion. And expansion says, spread your wings and soar, share your message and shine your light, show the world what you're made of. And, and it's so funny. Didn't I say that in the beginning of the reading? It's like the universe is giving you an opportunity to show them what you're made of. Stand your ground. You are expanding, and because of that expansion, prosperity is coming in for you. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I am going to get into the love reading for you next. That will be able to be found on Patreon if you'd like to be a supporter there. The link is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.